My name is Francis Uche. I am a school tutor in physics. So today I'll be telling us more about the practicals for our NICO exam that is coming up on the 12th of July. So I'll be starting with the third practical, which is a practical on our electricity. First of all, I would like to tell us the apparatus and the equipment that was prescribed for us to use in this practical. First is, we are provided with an unknown resistance of 2 ohms and a resistance bus, a key or switch, then an ammeter of 0.02 amps, then two dry cells of each EMF 1.5 Goals and connecting wires. So I will sh first of all show us this apparatus before we commence the practical. First on my table here is the ammeter. Of course, we can see it. This is the ammeter. It is graduated between 0 to 3 amps. And we have batteries here. Each of the batteries is 1.5 volts. So they say we should provide two um, 1.5 volts, which is three volts. And we also have here the key or the switch. We have an unknown resistance. In this case, it's a two ohm resistor. And we have the resistance box. Then also we have our connecting wires, as you can see. So we'll proceed to arrange the apparatus based on this given diagram here. Alright, so we'll start by, as you can see, the unknown resistance is connected to the battery. So this is our unknown resistance. You can see the connection. It is connected to the end of the word battery. Are you getting me? Then, the, the other end is connected to the switch. As shown, the other end is connected to the switch. Then, the switch is also connected to the resistance box here. And the resistance box is connected towards the ammeter. Please note that this combination is in series. The whole connection is in series. Are you getting me? So right now, we would kickstart the experiment. We have finished setting everything that we need to conduct this experiment. And from the likely questions that we have, they say connect the circuit as shown in this diagram. X is standard resistance of 2 ohm, R is a resistance loss, with R equal to 0 ohm. Please note that the resistor that they are talking here is the resistance loss at 0 ohms. Close the key, read and record the ammeter reading. I ampere, evaluate I inverse. That is, we should evaluate in our table the inverse of the current. Then, after that, they say we should repeat the procedure for R equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 ohms, respectively. Then, we are also told to tabulate our readings. Then after tabulating our readings, we are told to plot a graph of R on the vertical axis and R inverse on the horizontal axis from the origin 0, 0. So we are going to start now. So if you watch here, we have our resistance bus, we have the ammeter, we have the battery, we have the, the unknown resistance, and we have our switch. We are going to see what our values would be. So we we'll continue. Okay. So we now have, first of all, we need to record the EMF of the battery we are using. The EMF of the battery is 3 volts. So we record it down. Then the next thing we will do is to tabulate our results. So in our tables, we will have this will have the resistor in ohms, will have 
the chorus in arm, we have the I verse of the chorus, which is A verse in unit. So these are what we have. So for our first value, which is zero, we have one, two, three, and we have four and five. <laughs> So we are going to get the corresponding values of the current and also we we'll get the inverse of the current. So let's do it practically and see what we will get. Okay, make sure, ensure before starting the practicals that you have a tight connection. The, the resistance board is permanently fixed, the, the keys are fixed firmly, then the key is set, everything is set. So, for our resistor at zero ohms, let's see what the reading of our current will be. As you can see here, at zero ohms, the key has not been connected. So, I'm going to connect the key so that we can take the reading from the ammeter. So I connect my key from the value here. You will see that you will see that our reading here is zero point. You see that our reading here from here each calibration is point one. So we have zero, we have one, zero point one, zero point two, zero point one three. So at when the resistor is zero ohms, we are having. 0.13 amps. So I'm going to record that in my table. Please ensure that you remove the key after testing. So the first value we are having is 0.3 amps. Are we okay? So for our 1 ohm resistor, what you will do is you come to the resistance box, you remove, you remove the key 1, you remove the key one, then you attach your, your key to the switch. You will note the reading from your ammeter. So from your ammeter, you will see that in the reading is 0 0.29, because it's close to 0 0.3, it's 0 0.29. So I'm going to record the value here. So we have 0 0.29. So also, for the value of 3 ohms, what you, for the value of 2 ohms, what you do is you remove the key of the 2 ohm in your resistance box and make sure you attach the key of the 1 ohm back, such that we are having 2 ohm resistor in the resistance box. You will find out that when doing that, you will obtain our value for the for two ohms to be zero point two five. You also obtain three ohms to be zero point two two, four ohms to be zero point two zero, and six ohms to be zero point one eight. And doing the inverse, of course, you know inverse is one over this. Then you have when you inverse it, you have two point. 857, the inverse of this will give us 3.571, the inverse of this will give us 4.00, the inverse of this will give us 4.55, the inverse of this will give us 5.00, and the inverse of this will give us 5.40. So we have gotten, so we have gotten our values of the resistance and also the inverse of the current. So what we'll do is, after doing all this, what you do is now plot a graph of R on the vertical axis and R inverse on the horizontal axis, stating the origin at zero comma zero. Please note, if you have not subscribed for my YouTube channel, make sure you click the link below the description down and you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel for more videos on Lego practicals. Please make sure you subscribe, like the, the video, and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.